So what can better soil testing tell us? Well, it's been pretty interesting. You know, there are people that love testing and can't wait to do more. And then there are people that are like, I just use compost. It works great. My tomatoes are amazing. And the thing is your compost, if, if you don't test your compost, you know, it could be really oxidized. It's going to lock out nutrients. Uh, it could be really high in nitrates, which most of the compost that tests high in nitrates. It's a macronutrient, right? Plants need a lot of nitrogen, people say, right? Uh, well, when you break it down saprophytically, which is decomposition, which is composting, uh, the thing that creates that heat is oxidation. It's the loss of energy. That's what oxidation is. That's why it gets hot. It's like fire. You know, the BTUs, the potential energy in wood, you release it when you light it on fire, when you oxidize it. That's why if you put it in a container and move all the air, move all the oxygen, it goes out. So that's what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with a compost that's saprophytic. So there are some endophytes that are saprophytes, but there's some that aren't. There are mycorrhizal fungi that are hiding in those small roots that that effectively destroys in the decomposition process in the hot compost. This is why no-till works so well in preserving mycorrhizal fungi because it just leaves the roots in the ground. Uh, you can actually strategically till and plant immediately in there with those roots uh, and carry the season over that way as well. Strip tillage is also wonderful, crimping, so you just have that carpet. You know, there's a lot of methods out there now that are incredible. But the thing is, if there are these other microbes we got to figure out if we're missing them or if we have them. Uh, that's what new testing does. This microscope allows us to see the mycorrhizal fungi. And when we think about, you know, John Kemp has talked about how we need total digestion. So what's in the clay, sand, silt, parent material, you know. And then we have our soil mineral testing that is available to the plant. That's soluble or released through exudation. So that's Haney or it could be the M3 but it's also soil mineral and it's John talking, so it's all Breck, right? Saturation, percentage. And the thing that's missing from that, that can tell you a lot, right? Especially because he's doing it with the plant sap at the end. So total digestion of the plant tells you what's missing, tells you what's not being released. The missing part of that's the biology. And so that's, you know, what we would get when we look at the microscope, when we do DNA testing. And we also can deduce it. Think about this. You can be looking at this and you can see, oh, which biology are we missing? We look at the cycles and we go, oh, the biology that releases that mineral from that is this. And we look for it, we test for it, it's not there. We bring it in or you just deduce it and bring it in and see if there's an effect. And that's the thing is it's like we can brew, we can grow specific microbes now that allow us to fill these gaps in the cycling. So you might have a true deficiency. You did the total digestion and that thing's not there. These, these are the soils of the world, right? And, and it could be there, but at so, such low levels, it's a true deficiency. So, and this is a reality all over the world with certain things. And so you may need to still bring in those things, but you may need to do it incrementally. You may need to do foliar sprays. You may need to, to, to do it in such a way that every season you're incrementally building the soil up with that. Your foliar is spraying in the meantime on your plants so they get it immediately at the rates and levels they need. So testing gives us the understanding of where we are in the cycles what we're missing biologically, what we're missing mineral-wise, what is not translating through the different mediums to your fruit at the end of the day. I mean, it could be, you know, in the lower leaves and not the upper leaves. It could be, you know, in the first fruits and then not later. You know, this testing shows us the gaps, the failure points, all of that. So that's the future. The future is more testing. And it's going to be amazing because we're going to be able to showcase how regenerative by partnering with natural cycles does it best. I'm Matt Powers, grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively.